you'll notice the title of this video is very similar to the title of the last pie game video I did. Um, last time I showed you, well, we'll show you again. Uh, we created this code that uh, allows this image to follow my mouse no matter where it goes. Well, no matter where it goes within the window. Uh, today we're going to change it so that it doesn't constantly follow, but only when we click it will move to the spot we click. Which right now we have a laser sound every time we click. So let's go into our code and look at our code. So right here it's in the main loop to get the mouse position which will move our uh, image. Let's let's change that. We're going to come up here and outside the loop I will set MX well, we'll just copy and paste it here. So we'll get the initial position of the mouse uh, on, at startup. And if the mouse isn't on the screen, it will default to zero, zero. Uh, then we'll re we can remove that line from there. And we can also remove this print line, since that was just there for me. That's the number scrolling in the background showing you the X position of the mouse. That was just there for your reference. You don't need that, so we'll remove that as well. We'll come down here to our event that we have for mouse button with a plays our laser sound and we'll just paste in the code here so now instead of constantly during the loop it updating M MX and MY it's only when the mouse button is clicked does it update that so when you're not clicking the numbers don't change they stay whatever they were last time around so we will escape and save that run our code there is our image. You can see it's off the screen a little bit because it defaulted to zero, zero, but since we have it subtract 50 from both X and Y, uh, it centered it on the top corner here. Anyway, if I click over here, we'll get the laser sound and that image will move. So that is another way to move an image with your mouse, but this time restricting it to only when you click so it's not constantly following your cursor. Um, so at this point, I can also hit spacebar and it will save that image out to a screenshot. So this is great if you have a background, which I'll show you how to add a background later on. You can like move characters around in the background, take screenshots and create little images. You know, simple little game like that. So. Once again, thank you for watching filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Hope you're learning a lot with Polygame. I'm really enjoying it, really enjoying learning it and sharing what I'm learning with you guys. Have a great day.